Hello, I'm Jacob. I'm going to cover miles to go, go length for competitive programming, question mark, question mark's important here. So our agenda, we're going to do the quickest bio ever. We're going to go over what is competitive programming, the Go pros, the Go cons. We're going to do a quick, very quick benchmarking demo and then follow up with the conclusion. Quickest bio ever. Hello, I'm Jacob. I write software. Uh, my gopher needs uh, some gray in the beard now, though. It's been a while. Side note about the talk of the title, um, Better Ridge's Law of Headlines is any headline that ends in a question mark can be answered by the word no. This is in journalism. You see like titles all the time. Can AI replace our jobs? No. Uh, well, you know, miles to go, go going for competitive programming. There's a question mark at the end for spoilers. So what is competitive programming? Uh, it's a time sport where you solve problems through programs. Uh, it normally involves taking standard in and then writing that solution to standard out. Uh, and different platforms have different CPU and RAM memory requirements per language. Java could take more RAM, Rust could take uh, less CPU, depends on the platform. Side note, the types of competitions. So we have our timed, which are our traditional competitions. This is like high school, middle school, uh, college, and they're usually on a team. Uh, this is ICPC, Useiko. But we also have online and self-paced. We've got leak code, we've got hacker rank, advent of code, if anyone has participated. Uh, and we also have a lot of sponsored ones that get canceled all the time. So what matters in competition? Two things, correctness of the solution and the resources used. If you find the right data structure to solve a problem, you'll know the right algorithm, which means you know the right time and space efficiency for that problem. So the Go pros for competition. We have relatively easy string processing and input compared to C, C++. Also, core, map, and slice are frequently used in problem solutions. Uh, the hash mat is, quote, the king of leak code for a reason. Uh, it's also, for some problems, very easy to scale out concurrency, but a lot of leak code problems you can't. So what are the cons? Well, competition support for recent compilers is mixed at best. Some platforms have end-of-life Go versions, no generic supported, some don't even support Go at all. Uh, ICPC and IOI don't. The majority of problem sets also aren't suitable to being parallelization. Uh, you don't have the right kind of uh, algorithms and data structures to solve those problems. The standard library lacks in DSA. People will probably fight me over that, but it's, it's just lacking compared to other languages. Go is also a verbose language. Uh, there's no macro support, thankfully. So, what you have in C and C++ is a lot quicker timing. Side note, uh, competitive programming is sort of anti-Go. Uh, anti in the sense that competitions are anti-software engineering. Simply put, software engineering is about writing code I want to maintain. Competitive programming is about writing code I want to throw away. Uh, with, with competitive programming, you don't write tests at all. There's no error handling. All the things we think about with software engineering aren't there. Side note on the anti-software engineering side note. Uh, if competitive programming is anti-software engineering, why are we doing it at all? It's a great way to learn a new language. You want to pick up Rust. Uh, you want to you know, freshen some Java skills for some reason. It's a great way to dip back into it. You could also boost your coding confidence and kill your imposter syndrome. It's good to solve those problems and get that endorphin boost. If you, have a career, if you don't have a career, uh, online assessments are unfortunately required now uh, for entry level work. And also for fun, side note on the amount of side notes. Uh, is this a lightning talk or a collection of side notes? What's the correct ratio of content to side note? Should side notes on side notes even be allowed? Is that? OK, moving on. Uh, finally, something Go is good at, benchmarking. So we're going to transition here. So we can perform micro benchmarks using the standard underscore test files. Uh, the metrics we're getting uh, comparatively to competitive programming are iterations, average iteration time, and memory allocations. This is built into the Go command and testing package without any additional dependencies like you find in other languages using this simple uh, uh, func benchmark uh, signature. And then finally, we have Benstat, which computes A and B comparisons of Go benchmarks. If you aren't familiar with benchmarking, I've created a repo for this, and it's coming up in a few slides in a QR code. Wink, wink, hint, hint. So benchmarking, the idea sounds like fun. When you solve a leak code problem, other solutions are actually unlocked. So you submit something and others come back. But those solutions are small and limited test cases. We can do better than that. 
We can benchmark using a built-in testing package, then compare those solutions using Benchstat. So here's that QR code. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, really. Moving on. So uh, here's leak code unlock solutions. I'm using uh, number 350, which is the intersection of two arrays. It's a very easy leak code for, a, for our purposes. Uh, it's a bag intersection. So you have two arrays, and we want to find uh, the intersection. And if there's multiple, we return multiple intersections. Uh, when you complete and submit a leak code solution, it gives you this nice graph with the other solutions and how long they took. Uh, the first one on the left is so quick, it's zero milliseconds. Then one millisecond, two millisecond, three millisecond. And it gives you a percentage of how many other people submitted the same time complexity and code that you did. So our first step is writing better test cases. We're going to implement all solutions in main.go for consistency. We're going to size the input arrays from one to a million with a 20% intersection. And then we're going to have a single benchmark function in main test so we can compare. We're going to do at least 10 counts for relevance. Here's us running it. Go test, timeout. Just going to do a few seconds to show the benchmark running. So then we can do a comparison. And as we see here, our best when we got to a million, I actually did the worst. It was 25% worse We're using bench stack comparison here. So conclusion, go for competitive programming. Support's still missing. Problem sets themselves don't favor any Go strings. Competitive programming itself is anti-software engineering. Thank you. I'm Jacob. If you have a strong opinion, you can fight me, I mean, find me in the hall. <laughs>